Heather. I'm just waiting for everybody to show up here in Livingston, Montana. Hi Travel Tuber, how are you? Thanks for joining us. It's showing that we don't have any uh, viewers, but there you are in the chat. I'm going to spin around here so I'm not quite talking to everybody at the uh, waiting to get into Campione, but I'm doing great, man. Thanks. We are, oh, we got seven people. Alex, welcome to Livingston, Montana. Thanks for joining us. Mags, good to see you. Eight people. We got a good one today. We got something a little different where we're gonna um, talk to some artists and gallery owners. Uh, it's the Livingston Art Walk. This happens the fourth Friday of every month um, in the summer. So, uh, and then once in the winter or fall. Do the five. I don't know what that means. Hopefully that's an emoji or something. Um, this is a bit of an experiment because we're going to be going inside. Hi, John. Yeah, it's a it's an awesome place. Um, hey, Jeff. Uh, some friends. We'll be seeing friends around here today. Um, we're going to go inside some galleries. Hopefully the signal will hold up. Um, and we're going to ask some people sort of thing. And uh, we're going to last an hour, hour and a half, maybe. We'll see how things work out. And if you guys have any questions or comments, I will do my best to relate them. Um, I'm assuming the audio's working uh, because you guys have responded a little bit. Um, so here we go. We're going to start this off. And we're first place we're going to go, we're going to go down to Wheat, Montana. We're here on Maine and Calendar. Everybody's giving me the look, see, wondering what I'm doing. Hi there. And we're going to go down to um, Wheatgrass Books and Gifts first. And we're going to go up to their Green Door Gallery, which is upstairs, pretty new. And there is a uh, display or a, an artist up there doing small oil paintings. And hopefully we'll talk to Lisa and possibly the artist as well. You can see people are out and about. All right, we're up to 12 people. Forward this around if you guys are interested, want to share. Can I just get a thumbs up from somebody if we're uh, the audio is working when you get a chance? So Malou Flato is the uh, is the artist. late for some reason. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure about that. I did see an article regarding that. Here's Wheatgrass Books and Art. Wonderful, John. Thanks so much for responding. Let's go inside and take a look around. So we'll just walk around the store real quick first. And I do have permission to be in here. I'll yeah. try and slow the pans down a little bit. Thanks so much, Shirley. I appreciate it. And you can see they've got teas here. You can get a... Smell is wonderful here. It is a nice sunny day. It's hot. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Can I go upstairs and yeah. talk to somebody? I'm just going to walk around here real quick. Hi. Lots of great books in here. Lots of great gifts. Um, and a lot of different stuff too. So let's head upstairs without filming too many people <laughs> without knowing. Lots of cards, art supplies, but we are gonna go upstairs. Let me know if things start breaking up. Oh, it's nice and cool up here.
Hi there. Good. So Henry, um, Malou uh -huh. Plato, her art exhibit is over here. Okay. And she has a place here in Paradise Valley. Oh, hold on just a second. Guys, I'm going to unplug my... All right, so can you speak kind of loud so people can hear you? So Malou has a place here in Paradise Valley and also lives in Houston. And she has sold nine of her pieces already. Oh, wow. I had her stay up for two months for the second art walk uh -huh. because of COVID, but she's doing great. So she's had to paint more art <laughs> to keep up with it. So you can walk in and around. Okay. And then after, Aaron Schur is my artist in residence and he's oh, over here painting. Oh, wonderful. And we can take a look at that? Absolutely. All I'll right. talk to him. And can you tell me just how to get in touch with or learn more about Wheatgrass and about uh, Malou, please? Um, wheatgrassbooks.com. Okay. And there's information on there about Green Door Gallery. Malou's entire show is up on the website. Okay. And um, yeah. All right. Sure. Great. And those links should be in the description as well. All right, thanks so much, Thank Lisa. Thank you. Yeah, hi. So let's take a look at some of this artwork. Lovely flowers. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any thoughts. I love the light, the way she does the light. We are gonna to go to several galleries today. So I can't stay too long, but I do want to convey any questions you guys might have. Um, and I think, oh, we've got some more back here. Cool. Almost missed those. And see what a great location this is down there in those trees. To the left of those trees is Glen's outdoor place. Great place to, outside to have a meal and a drink. Welcome, Wall Street Skate Bro. Thanks for joining us. Oh, that's nice. Let me know what you guys think of these paintings. I know it's, it's sort of a quick look, isn't it? You should see me. I've got my glasses so I can see the screen and the, uh, and the artwork. All right, so check out, uh, we're gonna go talk to Aaron Schur real quick, but check out um, wheatgrassbooks.com, link in the description. And this is Aaron Schur. We forgot it was our walk. Well, <laughs> just happened to be dropping some stuff off. It happens, so. happens to the best of us. Can you just, uh, this is a City Walks channel. Okay. And I'm just walking around um, uh, talking to people. You have anything you want to say about your artwork? Uh, yeah, um, I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm in Livingston. I'm uh -huh. local. Um, and uh, basically the reason I'm here is I'm in the process of building a new studio. So I had to, in doing that, I had to knock down my old studio, um, which meant I was kind of studio homeless. And Lisa, bless her, and Green Door Gallery, and all of her wheatgrass wonderfulness, um, she um, offered me a little space here, um, or generous space here, to use as artist in residence for the summer while I work on building the new studio. Awesome. So, so this has been a great setup. Um, so. This is some of my work. I do a lot of what's called plein air painting. It's P-L-E-I-N. It's a French term for basically painting outside on location. So most of the work um, is from the area. You know, a lot of stuff in the Shields Valley, Paradise Valley, um, you know, local landscapes. Um, like, you know, example here would be, this is one I did last week um, down the valley um, on one of the spring creeks. And then what I'm working on right now, what I was just dropping off is, um, same location, but a larger size. So this is about half done. You know, I had two days on location. Um, I haven't had a fisherman come back and stand there <laughs> and pose for me, but I, I, I'm hoping I want to get a fisherman in, in there on that one. But so that's a lot how I work: is do these smaller ones and great, um, and then work them up. Can then, how can people find out about you? Um, my website is um, AaronSchur.com, um, A-A-R-O-N-S-C-H-U-E-R-R.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Cool. And, uh, but Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Right. Beautiful artwork. Thank we'll you. see you around. Sure. All right. Have a great walk. Take care. Bye. All right, folks. It's really nice, isn't it? I love the, um, the lighting on his work as well as Malou's. 
try not to get people dizzy as we go down the stairs here. And again, if you guys have any questions that I can relay, uh, please let me know. I'm going to attempt to stick the microphone back in here, the lab release. Okay, can you hear me? All right, here we go back out. And next, we're gonna actually walk down towards the river, but not all there. We're gonna go down a couple blocks to the Livingston Center for Art and Culture, where uh, Tom Murphy is doing a book signing. I don't know if we'll be able to talk to him, uh, but we will talk, hopefully, to Kathy, the uh, I guess executive director, I think is her title. I'm not sure about that, actually. Yeah, I really like his uh, stuff. Thank you guys all. Oh, thank you guys all for joining us. Um, if you haven't seen my Livingston Walks before, here's one of our local bars, the Whiskey, Whiskey Creek Saloon. Uh, we'll be coming by the Danforth. I haven't really lined anything up with them, but I'm hoping they'll talk to us. Danforth Museum of Art and hopefully they'll chat with us. This is True North, an awesome coffee shop, wonderful uh, breakfasts and lunches. Across the way, which I showed you last time when I did the walk with the um, farmer's market, is Campione, a great uh, local restaurant, fairly new, a little over a year old. We're gonna go to the frame garden here a little later. <laughs> yeah, it's um, Wall Street, bro. It's much chiller here. You know, we don't have, well, we do have a lot of guns. Uh, we do have a lot of cowboys. They don't usually come to town, uh, except on rodeo days and maybe a little later. Um, there is uh, True North. One of their advertising photos is um, a couple rode their horses into town and ordered coffee. We're going to be stopping at Mortem Art later as well, Bonafide Designs. Oh, we got some cursing. Sorry about that. Ambient. We did have a lot of cowboys in town recently. We had the Livingston Rodeo, and we also had a PBR bull riding event. So let me point this out to you guys as I cr I'll get a better view. So, hi there. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just showing this. Um, this gentleman's going to back out. But this is the Livingston Center for Art and Culture. Let's go see if we can get Kathy to talk to us a little bit. I can find her. Here she is. Excuse me. Let me sneak by you guys real quick. Excuse me. Hi, Kathy. How you doing? Good. Can you say hi to everybody? Hello. <laughs> um, what do you want to tell us about today? Well, you're visiting the Livingston Center for Art and Culture. Oh, hold on. Just, I gotta go remember. This is Undo weird. my... <laughs> <laughs> is that okay. your audio? That's okay. my audio, yeah. So say hello again? Yeah. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Livingston Center for Art and Culture and the Parks Reese Gallery. You are visiting historic downtown Livingston and you're inside of a 20-year-old nonprofit art and education center and today we're celebrating Art Walk with our current show, Wild Lives. We have four different wildlife artists, Tom Murphy, photographer, Jim Green, uh, bronze sculptor, uh, watercolor artist Elizabeth Leroux, and ceramic stoneware artist and sculptor Quinn Harrison. Can you tell us about the, um, just how to get and learn more about the Livingston Center for Art and Culture? We are um, online and on social media, at Instagram and Facebook, and we post all sorts of events and upcoming exhibits and calls for art and classes and workshops, so you can follow us at any time. The best way to find us is livingstoncenter.org. And I've got a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. And I'm going to plug my lavalier mic back in. I can do it without breaking the phone. Okay. Um, and thank you very much. Yep. I'm going to take a look real quick at some of the art. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, okay, you, you don't need me. No, I, I think we're good. Thank <laughs> you, unless you want to talk. So these... 
Uh, she's referring to my haircut. I didn't get one for about three months. Um, so this is Tom Murphy's photographer. He's a very well-known uh, photographer and does a lot of work in Yellowstone and the surrounding area. Just amazing, amazing photography. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. It's a great space. And when she says they have classes and that sort of thing, my boys have been here and taken several classes and they're wonderful. It's a great resource, a uh, great nonprofit here in town. Love these bronzes. Oh, let's see if I can get there. And I love these watercolors too. These otters are awesome. This uh, little bird here. And Hillside Rendezvous. Love these crows, amazing stuff. It's like a red winged blackbird or a Maybe a yellow wing back boy, yellow headed. Oh, I love this heron too. All right. All right, let's go back over here, peek around the corner. Back there is the Parks Reese Gallery. All right, let's head back outside. Hopefully I haven't lost you guys. Excuse me. Hi oh, there. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, thank See you. ya. All right. This is uh, sort of one of the iconic things here is uh, this taxidermied bear. It's fun. And then here's a bunch of the Parks Reese works. He's a very well-known local artist. And his work stretches all the way back to the back. All right, guys. Here we go. So we're actually not going to hit, obviously, every uh, gallery today. Uh, Curated Closet is kind of a neat um, secondhand store. Um, we're gonna head down to More Damn or Art. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thanks so much, Elaine. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. This, um, Livingston's kind of known for its art artists, sorry. Um, not just visual artists, not just painters and sculptors, but also writers and musicians. Um, you know, Jim Harrison had a place here before he passed away. Uh, Max Hjortsberg, not Max Hjortsberg. Um, now I'm dropping his first name, Hjortsberg. Um, and uh, a bunch of other people that I'm forgetting all right now, now the pressure's on. Well, hello, welcome. I gotta see your name. Oh, Tom, good to see you, Tom. Thanks so much for coming. We're going to pop in here and talk to Bonnie and her friendly, friendly cats. Hello, we're back. Um, so can you just tell me a little bit about the artwork that you and your husband, partner, um, do here and about your gallery? Sure, my husband, Park. Oh, one a second. I always got, I forget to turn, take this off. All right, go ahead. Oh, okay. Speak up so they can hear you. My husband, Park, does all the oil paintings here. So, um... These are all scenes of either Paradise Valley or Yellowstone Park uh -huh. or sometimes the Tetons. Okay. And uh, he also carves his own, he makes his own frames. Oh, and he, really? And he carves them too. Wow. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. I can't believe he's doing this these days, but this is his new thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And what do you do? I do the glass. So uh, over here is my little disaster area of glass rods and my um, glass is made in Italy oh, wonderful. and the same factory has been making the same colors for 500 years uh -huh. so I melt over that torch and then once the beads are made it cooks in that little kiln over there okay and then I make the beads into all sorts of things uh -huh. <laughs> awesome so and so this is some of your 
Yeah. You work here. I have some fan poles for ceiling fans, and then I have earrings, bracelets. Awesome. Uh, drawer poles. <laughs> oh, these are cool too. House Very cool. jewelry. <laughs> yeah. So. Very cool. And then there's a lot more over here. It's kind of visual overload. Yeah, it's definitely if you're a lot. For earrings, you can search for a long time. <laughs> and how can how can people find you? Uh, well, we're at 109 South Main in okay. Livingston, and we're also um, moredalemart.com. Okay. Or parkgoodman.com. It all goes to the same. Okay. <laughs> and I think I've got more of them in the description, but I'll make sure and I'll put Park Goodman in there as well. Dot com. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank Thanks. you so much. So we're just going to poke around, look at some of these oh, paintings and <laughs> the beadwork, glasswork. Oh, that's lovely. And so how long have you guys been here in Livingston? Are you I'm amazed to say 24 years. Wow. 24 <laughs> years. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, look at this one. Oh. See how sparkly that is? This is the full moon on one side and a crescent moon on the other. Oh, very and cool. And there's silver foil in there that makes the glass really sparkly. Uh -huh. So that's my thermal pool. Neat. And then, of course, there's parks in the corner. All right, let's take a look. Oh, wow, yeah. So this is obviously one of the thermal pools from Yellowstone, I would assume. That's a very cool painting. Wow, love the color. Yeah, me too. All right. And that's really interesting that he's carving the own, and making his own frames. Yeah. Well, most of them, not these right. ones. But these over here, the newer yeah, ones? Yeah, the ones that you can kind of tell are... <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? Bonnie? Do I have any questions? No, I'm asking the viewers because oh, they're, they're oh, chatting. Oh, viewers. Oh, oh look yeah. At that. Nine viewers right now. We were up to 14 a little while ago. Oh. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks Neat. so much. Thanks. Have a great art walk. Show oh. them Gary. Hi, Gary. This is one of our shop cats. One of the shop cats, <laughs> and they are super friendly. All right. Thank we'll you see so you later. Much. You Have bet. You too. All right. Now we're going to head on to the frame garden, and I'm just going to hold this close and talk rather than plug in that microphone. If you guys have any. Hi there. This is, we're passing the kitchen shop, awesome cooking stuff. Uh, that's where I get a lot of our cooking stuff. All right. Oh, excuse me, sorry. We're gonna pop in here and I love the bison stuff in here. We'll see as we walk in. Hopefully we'll find Laura or stores. Laura's on the phone right now. So they do a lot of, um, obviously, framing here, but then they have a lot of... Uh... Hi, Laura, can you talk for a second? Sure. Absolutely. Wonderful. Um, so this is Laura, and this is her shop. And um, can you just tell us a little bit about what you guys do? Well, we do picture framing here. We also do um, custom digital printing and um, have a full gallery of mostly local artwork. All right. Can you tell me a little bit about what you have here right yeah. now? Um, we'll yeah, yes, please. Take a look. So on this wall, we have some pieces by Colin Alexander, who uh, happens to be really good at doing bison. So we decided to feature a whole wall of just his bison, bison pieces. He, he does have other wildlife um, in the shop as well, but that seems to be kind of a specialty of uh -huh. his. Um, we also have Robert Spanring over here. He's a couple places in the gallery. Um, another local individual and some views of Paradise Valley and um, uh, various places around the area. Awesome. And right behind us, we have James sorry. Weikert. Oh, I've got a... oh uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure no, it's a technical. Uh, sorry, guys. Here we go. I don't know what's going on with my gimbal, but go ahead. So this is James Weikert's pieces, and he's a Bozeman artist. Mm -hmm. um, very popular. Um, photographer George Colantes, who 
uh, does a lot of eastern Montana and up along the nor northern High Line area. Um, really spectacular black and white, a lot of weather shots and brooding skies and old architecture. Awesome. And then Russell Chatham, who's kind of a local icon who has passed away at this point, but um, is very, very well known in this area and um, kind of a world-renowned uh, lithographer. Yeah. Um, All right. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And how can people learn more about The Frame Garden? Um, we, we have a website, theframegarden.com, and you can always uh, email us at theframegarden at gmail.com. Great, and those, uh, the link to the website is in the description below if you guys forget that. Uh, so check back. Thanks so much, Laura. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy the airwalk this evening. Thanks so much. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions or, or anything? This, uh, this sort of hazy look is uh, sort of the style of Russell Chatham, and he's so well known for it. And it seems stylized until you go down the valley on a cold winter morning or a smoky summer morning, and you see this kind of view, and you're like, oh, right. Um, let's take a look at um, Richard's spanning stuff. He's got these small oil paintings. Beautiful colors, look at that. And then we're gonna go back over here. I think he's got some more. Yeah, these are more Yellowstone. And then here's Karen Garay. She has some cool stuff too with these um, sort of neon colors applied to the landscapes that, that really just work. Um, so, I'm gonna show you the bison again. Just because they're so beautiful. I know what's wrong with you. And I love it. I know how to fix it. All right. So we're going to head back out. Conversation. And I said, how long will this last? All right. Let me see if I can get this gimbal. There we go. I got it straight now. It was sort of tilted to the side, pointed to the side. This is the mint bar. Let me, sorry about the wind. That's the, uh, wind is why I use the lab because it has a little bit of a um, wind protection on it. Danny, are you, are you not here personally, Danny? I thought you, or no, that's not Danny, that's Danica. Danica, welcome, and sorry you can't be here yourself. Here's Doris Bishop, he's part of the Frame Garden crew. Look at that, right on cue. Yeah, so are you gonna take us inside and let us look sure. around? Sure, yeah, um, do just, you wanna go to the Frame Garden right We now? were just there and talked to Laura. Oh, great, well then yeah. let's go to the Danforth. Let's do it. I kinda run double duty in both places. Nice. I'm back, Kathy. All right. Well, welcome to the Danforth. This is a, um, I'm actually on, I'm uh, <laughs> streaming, so we're on, on the air. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, hi. Hi there. I can still say hi. <laughs> yep. No, that just explains what we're up to. Uh, welcome to the Danforth. Uh, the Danforth Museum of Art is brand new. Um, and we have taken the old Danforth gallery that was around for 40 years and then closed for about five years. and. Uh, turned it into a museum. So all the art that you see in here is uh, like a museum. It's not for sale. It's not a marketing purpose in that sense. It is uh, a, uh, it's an art history project. And it is, uh, let's see, right now we're working on Freeman Butts and here's a portrait of Freeman. And he is, uh, he died in 1998 and he was a very prolific painter who left behind scores and scores and scores of canvases and thousands of works on paper. <laughs> we were fortunate enough to 23 works on canvas and, um, and uh, a little over 100 works on paper, I think. Uh, it's been a while since I counted them. <laughs> And uh, so what we've done for this summer is we've set up this show for uh, all four art walks 
and we are featuring Freeman because he spent time here and influenced uh, several of the artists and was here uh, right as Livingston was establishing a name for itself as an arts community. Yeah, and we were just, I was actually just talking about that a little bit. So are, are you open during the week or just for the art walks at this point? Uh, if you were to come up to the door, you would see we, we don't have an open sign and we don't have hours posted because we're still working on our volunteer list of people who can sit in the gallery. We're trying to be open uh, somewhat on Friday nights and Saturdays and we're just sort of going by the seat of our pants because it's so brand new. Right. So we're begging a little bit of forgiveness of everybody, but... Uh, but doing what we can. Do. Sure, sure, absolutely. And greetings from uh, Warsaw you just got. Oh, Warsaw! Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. we're going to take a look around at the artwork. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. We'll... Thanks so much. I just know that, that, that his role in art is, is about the... Uh, he's, he's a modernist, and he's very gestural, um, and he... This is about as lit, his self-portrait is about as literal as he gets. Okay. <laughs> so it's really fun. And one more thing, how can yeah. people learn more about the Danforth Museum of Art? So we have a website, uh, thedanforth.org, and we have a Facebook page. And we also, while doing this, are trying to work on our online presence, including some online shows that we did during COVID. Very cool. So all that's accessible there. Still working on it. Thanks for your patience. Yeah, and I'll put a link to uh, their website in the description below. Great. Later on. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, thank you, Storch. Have a nice walk. Yeah, thanks so much. So this used to be a gallery, and then it went on with no longer was in business, and they've redone this as, as Storch said, as a museum, which is really cool. It's awesome to see that it's open again and displaying art. And it's, it's interesting to me because I've seen art like this, these, these kind of paintings, the style, uh, around, and I haven't known anything about them, so it's fun to learn about it for me as well. get out of here without dropping my gimbal and I think you know these went a little bit quicker than I would have thought so I think we're done with going into galleries but we can walk around and sort of poke around and just see some of the other stuff so that is what we're gonna do <clears throat> I would totally agree with that statement. They are kind of haunting, and I think that's part of what uh, what art is supposed to do is make us feel something, make us think about something. And uh, so here we have Firefly, Pottery, and Art Studio, and I'm just gonna pop in real quick, give you an idea of what it looks like. Good, thanks. Ooh, when are you guys open for coffee? Awesome, thanks yeah, so much. Yeah, first. I mean, well, you, you want coffee, this is really No, I'm good, thanks. Hey guys. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned the Stockman yet, but uh, that's also a place. I think that's where my wife rode a mechanical bull on her 40th birthday. Like you do. Oh. Yeah. Are you referring to Firefly, Danica? Uh, Livingston Bar and Grill, Montana Watch Company is pretty amazing. I'm gonna see if I can go in here. They'll let me go in and poke around. Hi there, do you mind if I go inside? I'm live streaming. Come on in, Thanks it's so Art much. Walk. Awesome. So these watches are all handmade and they are absolutely amazing. Uh, they're etched and uh, designed and everything back in this studio. Hey Tom, good to see you. Thanks. I'm so glad you could join us. Um, I love these watches and the shop hasn't been uh, open through the last year or so, except for by appointment. 
But man, they are very cool watches. Would you like can... to take a peek in the back? Sure, do you mind? Come on back. What's your name? I'm Danny. Danny, it's yeah. so nice to meet you. I'm Henry. Hi, Henry. And this is City Walks. Nice. Yeah. Come on in and don't take pictures of everything because it's a mess. Okay. Jeffrey would normally be here. We have a couple of watches on the bench right now. Oh, very cool. Actually working on. I'm so excited. I love these watches. <laughs> So I won't the, touch anything. Right? So he's got one kind of all taken apart at the moment. You can see all the pieces. This is not the pieces of the watch. What's underneath here uh -huh. is the one that he's working on. It's separated out from everything else. So he works on that normally. And all the watches that are on the wall are pieces that we're working Oops. on. And it's a kind of a cool little process. It's a really in. cool. Yeah. And I've seen a couple of the videos showing the up close stuff when he's yeah. working on them. He's been doing this for over 20 years right here in this shop. Yeah. It's a really cool process. We actually machine out the cases, the case backs, the works adapters. Uh, the only part of the watch that we don't make is the movement. It's actually in Switzerland, from Switzerland because we're not stupid, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the now. most serviceable movement in the world is what we use in our watches, the Eta 2824 and the So Prod. So he works really hard. Each piece takes anywhere from about two weeks to two years to yeah. build. Wow. So they're pretty cool, yeah. Really cool. During the art show. I know. We're also celebrating one of our local jewelry artists oh, as well, cool. Karen Aerosmith in Estea Designs, Montana Agate, um, Saf uh, Yogo Sapphires and whatnot. Very and cool. then Jennifer. I was noticing these. 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 great. This is for the art walk tonight. These are some of her really special barbed wire found pieces. These are they are so cool. Look at this one over here. we get to have um, special artists in maybe once a month during uh -huh. Fourth Fridays. Nice. So I'm glad you popped in today. Me too. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad we could. Uh, how can they learn more about you? on MontanaWatch.com or follow us on Instagram or our Facebook page. All right. And I'll put links in the description. Thank you so much Thank for you guys. In. Yeah, nice you guys have a good one. Have nice a good to see one. you too. All right, guys. Isn't that awesome? And those watches are, I just can't even convey to you how cool they are. Um, you can see Livingston Peak in the distance there through the haze. There it is. I'm going to cross over. And unfortunately, whoops, uh, this machine is supposed to be charging my phone and it is not doing it um, for whatever reason. So my battery is about to die. And as much as I hate to. Um, wrap this up i think that's the best so you don't get cut off midway through uh it's not so bad 38 minutes and i will i'm gonna be out of town next month but i'm gonna try and do this again in september and maybe find some other cool livingston activities uh, a little more dynamic than just walking around to do maybe some hosted stuff but i want to thank you guys for joining us here at city walks for the livingston art walk in Livingston, Montana. And again, check below for descriptions and links and all that fun stuff. I'll try to make sure I get everything in there in the next, oh, five or 10 minutes. You guys have a great weekend. Come back and see me again soon. Until then, keep on stepping.